Phil, we sit here on day two in Los Angeles on the Rex Coast Tour. How good is it to be back in the USA? Yeah, yeah very much so. Um, I think yesterday, the day after we've travelled, is is always a bit of a nervy day because we want to get the, the balance of the training right, knowing that the, the travelling is still, still in the lads' legs. But I was really pleased how yesterday went. It was, it was a good day. We've come through it unscathed. And, and today, you can see the lads are... Um, everyone's got the sleep pattern where it, where it needs to be or very close to that. So, you know, today we can crank it up a little bit more. There's two sessions today, um, both on the grass and uh, yeah, we'll start building up towards the first game. So far this summer, you've made five signings so far in the window in Arthur, Lewis, George, Callum and Seb. How have they all settled into the group and what can we expect to see from them? Yeah, well, obviously Arthur knew us anyway. Um, Lewis came into as we knew he had a slight problem with his ankle so he's only just started joining in training at the back end of last week and, and early uh, since we've been here uh, Seb yeah he'd been working at Aston Villa so he, he was uh, up to speed so that's good Callum um, he's just a little bit behind um, and George Dobson um, you know, he's a fit lad he'd been doing a lot of work in the off season and he, and he settled in really well so yeah to answer your question they've all fitted in well with the group and there's, there's nothing better when you're a new signing to, to get to know the teammates in a, in a tour like this In terms of away from signings as well it's important to keep hold of our own talents and our own players three new contracts extended for Max, George and Tom how good is it to extend that stage with the club? Yeah I mean you know George came in and, and we always had an agreement with him that we'd review his contract in the summer, which um, you know we've stood by, and you know, great to get him signed up. And and Maxi, you know, as I said when he signed, that you know when you've, there's been a lot of time spent with Max, not just from myself, Steve, and Dave Jones, and all the, the sports science staff, but people at the club for many years previous to that when he's come through the system. And it's so important that we keep our best young players, and and Maxi certainly falls into that category. And Tommy. Um, yeah, everyone knows with Tommy, he's a class player and uh, we're really keen to, to secure Tommy's signature and uh, I'm sure he's got a big part to play this season. Early this week, the club had the great news that the, the club have achieved the cat uh, Category 3 status yeah. uh, for the academy. That's really crucial to the club's development, isn't it? Yeah, very important. Um, you know, that kind of news um, I found out a couple of days ago um, you know, was, was key because obviously We'd made strides with the academy, uh, and we don't want to take a step back. And um, we, you know, being able to to take that progression, um, obviously the, sorting the facilities out was key to that. And you know, ultimately for the club to progress long term and, and keep improving, we need that influx of, of players coming through our own academy system. And um, you know, that's great for the uh, all the coaches and, and um, the academy staff that we've got that category three, three status. And just back to the Rex Coast Tour, when you experienced a US pre-season tour like last year, how beneficial was that in terms of the preparation and planning for this one? Yeah, well, first of all, the tour last year was an incredible experience, um, but like, uh, you know, it's important you learn as well. Um, I feel we've done that. The uh, schedule, um, you know, is has got a lot less travelling in it, which is, is important. Obviously, we come back two weeks before the season starts. So, yeah, we, we, you know, we, we're pleased with that. And... Uh, um, I'll let you know at the end of the tour how successful it's been. But at the moment, um, the, the first location of the hotel um, is kind of an improvement from where we were last year. We even little bits of detail like that uh, have helped. And um, yeah, tra train on the, this facility is, is incredible for us. This year's tour consists of three games against AFC Bournemouth, Chelsea and Vancouver Whitecaps. What is it about those fixtures that excites you and what you're looking to take out of them? Yeah, well, similar to last year, really, the Bournemouth game, the Chelsea game, come up against you know, two, two obviously very good Premiership teams. And um, you know, there's certain elements of our game we can, we'll be working on leading into those games. And um, obviously getting the minutes in the players' legs is, is key. So we go back to, to Wrexham and, and the lads are well down the line in terms of the preparation. Um, so yeah, the first two games in particular, you know, the, it's going to be a lot of workout possession, like it was in the, in the, the Chelsea game last year. You know, it doesn't mean we can't play ourselves because we've got good players, but also the discipline and structure, which if you look at last season, you know, helped us along, along the way. You know, there was games. You know, if you go back to the Notts County game at home, where for the first 15 minutes they were dominated, we we they dominated the ball, but we stood strong and our organisation saw us through that that period when and, and we 
gradually grew into the game. So, yeah, it's very important. Every team wants to dominate the ball and dominate possession. But sometimes you can't do that in every game and you've got to have both elements to your game in place. So the, these first two games give us the opportunity to work on that structure. And that final game being in Canada as well, a fantastic opportunity for the club to play the first game over in Canada as well. Yeah, obviously, you know, incredibly excited to, to go to Vancouver. You know, so many people I know have been there and said it's a, a city, you know, you must go and see. It's a fantastic place. So, yeah, like we did last year, I think, you know, this is a, uh, a working kind of two weeks or you know, 12 days for us. But equally, we, we want to give the lads the experience of going and seeing the, the places and and make sure they get out and about. They're not just in the hotel room all the time because uh, you know this is uh, a great experience for, for all the lads and all the staff. And we'll make sure that along the way that, that they get to, to see the, the, the sights of Vancouver and San Francisco. Awesome. Thank you very much. I'm sure we'll catch up across the top. Thank you very much.